I doubt she thought this man I had a child with is gonna use the internet and weaponize this against me. Like niggas only care about patriarchy when it's time for them to fucking beat their chest. It's really laughable. I wanna ask, it's like who among us hasn't been, who hasn't slept with or been in love with a misogynist? Because most men are. What a boundary is, when you have a boundary, that is something that you place upon yourself Yourself, and, with, and if someone is not willing to meet you where you are with that boundary, then you get the fuck off. In private, and I was like, no, I think his feelings aren't valid. They're very invalid. You're not getting the validation because they're so rooted in like you controlling a woman. I'm in a chat with my brothers whom I love, and all of them were like, yo, man, I feel so bad for my boy. Yeah, I'm glad y'all hype for this first this first all women's panel I'm having on the show. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and, and what better what better inaugural topic than Kiki Palmer's baby daddy acting a goddamn fool and Jonah Hill being a goddamn oh. fool? Um. So your way, I want to start. Kiki or Jonah? Y'all pick Kiki because I don't like how both these are being linked Kiki. anyway. I don't like how these are like. I don't like. Mean that. that hey, I, I said that yeah. last night to to, to my yes. my good sis over to there in the corner. Yeah, I feel like they're she, very like different they situations. She dropped that. I feel I, yeah. I really agree with you. I feel like she dropped that on the TL. Like, granted, white Twitter is different than black Twitter. They got their own separate things going yeah. on. But I really feel like she dropped that really out of nowhere trying to get on the train knowing we was talking about kiki and that's two whole separate dynamics two whole separate situations Re let's start with rebecca said that too but i didn't i didn't agree with that conspiracy theory <sighs> you know i i you know i oh i hate to seem like i'm jumping on well i guess i need that since they said i'm anti white on the internet so let me cape for this white lady right quick <laughs> let me let me let me let me cape for her. i don't think listen for us they feel linked like it's like oh you doing this now because everybody talking to kiki because we and our black asses are all talking about Kiki and what's happening, yeah. but the white people are not all talking about Kiki. <laughs> I do not think that yes. white lady, what's her name, was at home yes. like, ooh, girl, they talking about Kiki, this is my time. Yes. They're going to treat me like Kiki. I don't yeah. think that's what happened. <laughs> exactly. I think she saw some people saying like very like, you know, if you're a woman in a relationship, do your thing. And then I guess apparently Jonah and his new partner posted like a baby photo and people are saying that's what triggered her to start doing this because oh, some of her Instagram kid? so they she's like pregnant and they announced it and so she like went on and some of her stuff was like wow I hope he has a daughter so he can like see what he put me through and so a lot of people think that because see, she I saw that he was like see, he had, like they the had news, just announced their baby you. oh yeah this is the white people <laughs> feel me on that part me my white much. friends were like so here's what happened and I was just like oh my I was just looking at the Kiki Palmer part of it <laughs> Right. That's okay. shocking. Actually, I don't so even know that. Thank you so much yeah. for tapping into white Twitter and white so, Instagram. Yeah. Oh my God. This is what they were trying to was... say yesterday. And we, I was confused when they were trying to tap in on, they were like a baby. And I'm like, what baby? Cause I just saw her text message. I don't know the baby. Cause are we talking about <laughs> Kiki now? Cause I don't know. It was yeah, confusing. No. Now there's a baby. Okay. Yeah. I'm so say people are like, kid. Jonah okay. now he's going to be a dad. And she like lost it because she's like, you are horrible to women. Like, I hope, you know, and you know what, girl, I've been there. I've, you know, I've had some horrible yeah. exes and I see they're having a kid. And I'm like, Ooh, I got to send some swub tweets, but you know, I'm crying. Now. Send them you some know, tweets. I'm just popping jokes off and she's, Oh no, I'd be so serious. Wait, I want to talk about Kiki. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about Kiki. Let's go to Kiki. Let's start from Kiki so that we could work Kiki. our way up on oh, the timeline, right? Let me, right? Let me, All right. Let me get my problematic I think guys... take out the way then. Let me get my problematic take out the way. No, I know you're about to be on bullshit. Keep you hold on. Before you decide that you want to be the queen of Twitter villain, because I already know what the fuck you're no, on. You I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. No, no, no. Trust me, baby girl, I do. I just moved on in the timeline. I scrolled on by. Oh. <laughs> I know what bullshit you're finna be on. I know what you are what about to take? be on. What oh, is it? Give you, give you, give <laughs> you know what? Give, give you a hot take. You know, give it. Go ahead. Yeah. Start with your hot take. No, no, start hot take. Go, go. Oh, me? Go, get you lighter. First. No, oh, yeah. get it. Yeah. Take a drink. Take a sip. Thank Hydrate. You. No, I think it's been. Because what you mean by that? I think it's very, very. No, I think it's bad. <laughs> Christina didn't lean into the camera. She waited. <laughs> I, 
You got to say this. Now, I think, of course, Homeboy's absolutely on a bunch of bullshit. I, I will be only referring to him as Kiki Palmer's baby daddy because that's the only moniker that... What else would you refer to him by? Who, who knows his name? Who, I don't even know his name. Employee. Yeah. Yeah. Staff. Employee or staff. Or staff. The only <laughs> moniker he has earned. However, I will say this. To me... The online discourse around this has has really victimized Kiki Palmer in this regard, and this it had, this has been very embarrassing. This has also chipped her her very highly curated public persona. However, this entire situation is also to me chickens coming home to roost for Kiki Palmer because let me tell you something: everything that got pulled up about Homeboy, about him. Um, claiming that Alton Sterling was rightfully murdered by the police in 2016. I'm from Louisiana. I'm, I lived in Baton Rouge at the time. Him transphobic tweets, homophobic tweets, uh, all this misogynistic nonsense and whatnot. All these things. Kiki Palmer has had very, very problematic takes in the past, defending R. Kelly, all this other kind of stuff and whatnot. I am not someone who believes that your views are separate from your partners when it, when it comes to stuff like that. I think that she was fully aware of who he was. Those tweets are still up. I think she was fully aware of who he was, that she signed on to that when she had the baby with him, that they she knew about it when she was in a relationship with him. None of this is coming out of the blue, and that's why they're not broken up now. I think that she just did not think that that would ever, you know, circle the block and hit her like yeah. this. That is what I think. Yeah. Well, I think those both things that's can fair. be true. Yeah, I think, I think that's I, fair. I, 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 yeah, yeah, it's fair. I guess I guess it's fair. I guess I think multiple things can be true, right? Like, I mean, one, I'm just like, the first thing I always want to say and I want to ask is like, who among us hasn't been, who hasn't slept with or been in love with a misogynist? Because most men are. Let's keep it G real right there. Let's start right fucking there. I don't feel right sitting, I'm not going to perpetrate like every man I've ever slept with or been <laughs> with is a reflection of my political views. Yeah. No, I'm, fuck I no. Did. In fact, Man's many of them- together no more. Hey, it's, hey, on God. Exactly. But I'm like, yeah. but in fact, that is usually- you do learn a lot about men being with men. Men do not come to you like, hey, I'm a misogynist. You don't go, you know, seeing all their things. They don't tell you all their fucks. I know that especially, especially if a man to some degree, you know, that's why I just want to put out this preface, knows what you believe as different. They damn sure ain't telling me, telling you. If any of my niggas like the cops, he ain't telling me. I'm going to tell you that right now. They are not that's there true. telling me. Yeah. They're not going to. Men, men pretend for less. Men yeah. pretend to be every, something different every day, let alone, yo, men will bullshit you about little shit, let alone big schools of thought. So I want to, I want to, keep it there is like you know i don't want it to be like because if we if we if we adopt the practice that's what a man is exposed as being a misogynist or whatever it is you know we immediately move on to okay well the woman and how women are hobbit they all come always be in trouble because niggas always going to be problematic and linked to some unsuspecting woman we all live in in to some degree that doesn't mean and now in kiki's now to kiki yeah uh, i have seen kiki have um some problematic fucked up uh 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 takes you know definitely and i yeah mm. <laughs> she has grown yeah. from some of those like she does come out she said she was wrong about r kelly uh i think she got called out for something with food stamps and she was like sorry i'm growing i'm learning so uh -huh. so do yeah. we forgive are we in the forgiving business because if that's the case then what about his listen 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 i, mean, I don't know him i don't know him the, the, the fact that no fuck that hold on not, I'm talking about for Kiki. We have forgiveness for Kiki, and I'm oh. not, and I'm not on his team, by the way, when it comes to this. But I'm saying, like, we're digging into this past. We're we're finding all of these no, past tweets thing out. and and carrying them all. But the guys the that we trash. made gay and and men are trash. Okay, put that man. No, I not men are trash. That nigga is trash. Man. 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 No, I did not say men are trash. I said trash. that nigga is trash. Oh, that man is trash. Is. Agreed. No, he is trash. I assess the evidence. He need to be in the garbage. But but I'll say this, like you know, we we. We see all of this stuff. We hear the things about Kiki. I wouldn't even say the chickens are coming home to roost, baby. Because listen, like Ole said, I done been with some men that ain't no good. You don't know that they're no good. You get with them, you find out, and sometimes you're already in love with them. It's hard to do that, you know, breaking away thing. You know they ain't no good. You see these signs. It might take a little bit of time. Therapy, prayer. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we have but, to always acknowledge that we're in a minority of you when, when you look at like, 
love and stuff right like we live in a patriarchal society like yeah. we live in a patriarchy like women everybody yeah. everybody is on that type of time in some respect yeah. so yeah. yeah if you are dealing with men 9.99 percent at a time yeah but you know you're there on some spectrum of misogyny you know, what you know what makes every single one of us here different from kiki palmer in that regard i i nor any of us here are getting bags from the communities with which my man is dehumanizing you were just a uh, a guest host on legendary which is a very queer very trans show and whatnot your man out here talking about uh I, i'm not even gonna repeat the tweets that he was talking about with gay and trans people i'm not gonna do that because that's beneath me yeah. Um, and yet you are in these very, very queer, very, very trans spaces and whatnot. And then here is your man unapologetically dehumanizing these people and whatnot. The same people that are giving you bag after bag after bag. So it's more so about, but I don't, <laughs> but I don't yeah. understand why when, like, okay, this is my thing. We didn't start no discourse. We knew though the people who have that kind of critique is you, Gabrielle, y'all knew that whatever it was, you thought about Kiki and we wasn't having that discourse yesterday. So it's like, why does the discourse when like a man, instead of we, we quickly move away from the mad, the actual misogyny we should be addressing. And it's like, how can I decide? I don't give a fuck about the fact that this woman is experiencing it because X, Y, Z, the reality is, Kiki, no, but, but I'm like, the react, but well, we we but yeah, we've only said that, and we ain't talked about you know what I mean. Oh, but that's my point. It's like we go there, we jump too quickly. It's like because women, because everybody's champion around Kiki, and you feel like oh, does Kiki's being victimized? But it's not about Kiki being victimized. It's about Kiki being Kiki Palmer, and I think that's something that gets yeah. left out of this, this entire situation. Now it's being analyzed by everybody. People talking about <laughs> how they would respond if it was them and Usher. You're not fucking Kiki Palmer. Yeah. You're like you're not a performer. No one except like to some degree. It's like all right. Kiki was already getting a bag and Kiki would have been getting bags and whatever her views and whatever her relationship with the communities that would, would be, is the case, always will be and will persist regardless of this nigga. So for me, it's mm -hmm. like, I don't want to start an analysis like yeah. how money's supposed to change and what opportunity she is dealing with, you know, happens because of this dude. Second, as somebody who will light a nigga up, you will get a dissertation from me. <laughs> we will get, we will have, oh, oh, my man have received scholarly papers over issues and blah, blah, blah. But I don't go tell them online. I wouldn't, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. We don't know that she's at home agreeing with him. I've seen, exactly. And that for me is the issue on his part that I feel like people are overlooking is that he called her out online mm -hmm. because he wanted yeah, other misogynist people. men to gang yeah. up on her or yeah. with him. Like that to me, yes. you know, she could know his views. She yeah. could know all that. I doubt she thought this man I had a child with is going to use the mm. internet and weaponize this against me. High five with white hand petty. in the comments over this shit. He would have had to get out of here. His stuff would be I on the that. street. Yo, yeah. he'd have been I think gone. that's the difference. Like, yeah. he literally tried to embarrass her and dog yeah. her, and we're we're supposed to be in a partnership, so all that other yeah. shit yeah. goes to the, to the left. Like, the views, whatever. You literally, so I see what you're saying about, Gary, about her views, but it's like, that's the the large issue at hand is like the way he literally was targeting her and they're in a relationship you literally are targeting me and we're in a, this mm -hmm. this is like we should be with the enemy and that's crazy yeah. because yeah. Like, like like they've been saying like we all been there with somebody and you really don't i do think it's a it's a it's a double-edged sword because i'm one of those people i've been there but now i'm just like if i see you do things to other women i'm not even going to approach you i don't, mm -hmm. I don't think i'm different i'm not i don't know kiki so i don't know she probably has never known anyone they dated before because he's not really famous. Like, who is he? So she probably <laughs> really didn't know he moved the way he moved. Like, Very true, but or and even if she did. Is, oh, what's she going to do now? She need to leave him or whatnot. And so... I, and all that is his fault. And that's not why going nowhere because, like, look, she down with the shit too. But, but I don't think, but I don't, mean. her not going nowhere does not mean she is, it, she is, I don't think it, it she could, she could be with, with she could have all of us yeah. behind the scenes, and, but and I don't like, think her staying they, with the man is evidence of her, uh, uh yeah. doing his views. Mm -hmm. It's evidence of the fact that she already have a fucking baby for this nigga that announced them everywhere family. to the whole yeah. fucking was world. Was it true? Yeah. Was it true that I thought I saw they like unfollowed each other. He removed all her pictures, yeah, pictures from each his other. Instagram. Yeah, that's how, yeah, so, she left him. She put her and like, whole yeah, thing. They were never married and already, yeah. I guess, she had done an, so when she posted that video where she's like dancing to the thing where it's like, if you go act up, I'm a link up. She did that in an interview like two weeks before that happened and people think like maybe they already had issues. She was already kind of mentioned in the, yeah, like in that interview, she's talking about how like, you know, she doesn't need to deal with a man who's insecure and doesn't like respect her, you know, career and all this stuff. And I was like, okay, maybe they're having some problems. And so I feel like him going to Twitter about this 
is because she's ignoring the text. Something was let already. Me, that's what I think. Let me tell you why I think he did it. Rebecca, you Rebecca, you go. No, no, no. I agree with Ashley. Um, when, on my show, I was talking about it. I'm like, okay, if we look at the series of events that we had, you know, before we got, you know, the developments after, um, him saying, uh, you know, you're a mother or whatever the case may be, taking to Twitter, first of all, it was like, why did you include yeah. us into the group chat when you know just a few, I think like a week before she was sitting with him. That's um, why on, he on did it. That's what I was going right, to say. On a podcast where she was saying, if anything, I don't want my business out to the world. I want to go home and we discuss yep. it ourselves. I do not want my business out with my man. I will act dumb outside. But, you oh, know, well, with everything else, I want us to have our conversation. It. And then he went straight to social media to address her. Um, well, knowing that she was celebrating herself for, what, 20 years being in the business. She just had a baby. We're postpartum. I'm trying to go outside, yeah. like this whole thing. Yeah. And instead of, clearly, he couldn't get to her. That's what I assume because he couldn't text her. He couldn't get, okay. right, Christina, yep. like I heard so he you went on before. Twitter. He couldn't he get to Twitter, her. Twitter, had to yeah. get his little on Twitter. Across. I think I really think he I think he couldn't get to her which is why he made it about her motherhood mm, yeah, rather yeah. than like oh you being a girlfriend oh you being he made it about like how my family and your mom yeah because he knew because he, he couldn't be like her. oh you're with me and no he that's knew why yeah. that's a problem all that other shit I was in the window you literally purposely tried to embarrass and hurt me that all that shit whatever you that's enough for me because that means you really don't like me so we could just co-parent because that'd be the problem like these men really don't be like you really never liked her for real. Because if you did, even if y'all was going through something, you wouldn't have threw her to the woods like that. Like, and that's the problem. Sometimes it takes shit like this for you to realize that a nigga just don't like you. He just don't like you. And, <laughs> and yeah. worse, he don't like, like himself. I think that's the real tea here because oh, I don't yeah. think this has anything to do with Kiki and everything oh, to do with his masculinity, right? Yo, this is all so it is. Dope. All it is is, I'm going to translate all this. He saw that woman. First of all, he's just mad that he's nobody and she's Kiki Bama. Let's start there. The concert yeah. tickets. That's the first that's, one. That's no, that's the T, that he's not invited. He's not the plus one. No, but T, that's what it is. You ain't invited to the Mac Gala that she's been showing out. She had all these places and you're not there because you are no one, yeah. right? You are, you, listen. So then I think what it is is he's seen her with Usher. He felt he felt jealous about that, his masculinity. And he felt, and not, you know, something, <laughs> something my little booby saying to me is half mm -hmm. the time, Half the time, what it is that they really be focused on is not, it has nothing to do with even worry about Kiki or anything to do with Kiki and just feeling like what other men would be thinking. Like him, mm -hmm. in his mind, he looked mm -hmm. like a clown to men who thinking this is mm -hmm. woman there, what I should show, yep. blah, blah, blah. But his masculinity, he can't let him say, I feel insecure and whatever it is, I'm upset about that. So he says, you know what? I'm gonna make it about, oh, you a mom, oh, the outfit and something so that other men, just so other men can be like, yeah, that's a man, a certain his on the head of household. And you know what I think is funny is like, you invoke all these traditional gender roles and all this patriarchy that is there to whoop your ass. First of all, yeah. it's whooping your ass. You the one who's upset right now off of these gender roles and your masculinity and all this. And then you're gonna invoke it when it's already what's whooping your ass, sir, you work for her. Like, you can't, you work for her, you're not married. You work for her, you're not married. You ain't got no money. You ain't nobody. So maybe you should stick with the new modern day era she was trying to let you be in. Yeah. He only has a fitness show because of her. Like, and, sure. and that's the thing. Like, niggas only want to care about patriarchy when it's when their ego. Because you didn't care about that shit when you want to be with a woman who make more money than you, who take care, take care of you in a sense. Because, you know, she bread and butter. You want to have a baby out of wedlock. You don't want to make somebody a honest woman like niggas only care about picture mm -hmm. when it's time for them to fucking beat their chest it's really laughable like it's really laughable know. to me that's why I'm like, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know because I feel like I don't I think that conversation went a different way I think he probably did ask her because he was been referring to her as his wife and whatnot I think he probably did ask her to marry him <laughs> well good for her <laughs> mm. Maybe. I don't, Maybe I don't I don't I don't think so they I leave, they gonna leave with half I think they already have <laughs> So I watch RRG as a YouTube channel, um, and they do, they do the gossip and following all of these people's business. I think they probably already had a toxic relate, like a quote unquote, like an on and off regarding relationship. Mm -hmm. Like they show in the past, like maybe a year ago, they had followed and unfollowed each other and yeah. stuff that happened or whatever. And then she got pregnant. You know what this is? This one a dude you like. Yeah. You was it was one of your dudes on your roster. I don't even think you know what I mean. I I don't even think this is like me. She hasn't yeah, even known him, him too long. Did you see that interview she did on Terrence? Yeah, I don't think yeah. she knew him that long. And she, like, bought him a drink and was like, I liked him, I went up and... But no. And she gave him a job. Cause, no, I Because he didn't have nobody's job. He didn't job. have a job. He didn't have no. She literally... Kiki, let's talk about this. Because I thought this was when this first happened. I was like... She better than me. When I noticed, when he first came out. So Kiki gone and paid out of her own pocket. Because... 
bro. She created his only job is he does. He has a show on Key TV, Kiki's network. The Kiki made. Mm -hmm. She gave this. No, let me say this. Employee, literally his employee. Employee, And I agree. He 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 is definitely on the payroll. But here's my (laughs) thing. Um, she. She liked that man. I ain't even gonna hold you. Yeah. Um, and I'll say yeah, that, yeah. you know, she 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 definitely loved that man enough to even, you know, go through with having his baby. Um, the way that she was propelling him in, you know, in rooms where he, yeah. Yeah, they knew was that was Kiki Palmer's us. um child's father. And so she did, she loved him. And regardless, and this is what I always say. The discourse that we may have, the think pieces that may go on down Twitter. I mean, we may go back and forth about this. Baby, this is Kiki Palmer. Maybe next week, maybe next month, she will be back with him or not. But yeah. one thing she did make clear in a lot of these interviews um, is when she when she spoke about him before we saw him open his mouth and did what he did on Twitter, it was always to elevate him. Like she would yeah. say some things like, it was like, he is this, and this is what I thought about him. And he looked at me he and when he that. did this, this is when I knew she would always make sure she ta- she spoke about him positively. Yes. So that you know, is what took me about. That's why she needed to throw the garbage. And, then he turned and, and, he and he was a piece of shit and he, she had to buy his drink when they first met and she made the first move yes. yeah she always spoke very highly of him absolutely but that's not that's not negative it's, it's facts about how they met i wouldn't yeah. say that's negative it's literally he was at the party well, up, he was I, shy i'm about to make a drink or two yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I, first of all I yeah really i'm not right. listen if it's good enough for kiki not, i can do it too okay i'm not shaming her for that at all listen i do a little stuff i will if i like a man a hundred percent i will i treat him real nice don't I wasn't like, gonna say nothing, but listen, <laughs> my, <laughs> hey, they <laughs> love here. Ugh. Yeah, if like maybe if, you that, <laughs> if I like you, do. I want your life to be nice. Okay, yes. let's do nice things. Oh, let me let me make you smile. I don't have no problem with that. Because something I that was something else I was thinking in the discourse, right? It's like all of women are damned if we do, damned if we don't, yes. right? Because yeah. All of a sudden now, because he ain't shit, everybody posting like where Steve Harvey was telling her to be with a rich uh, and judging her like, oh, she should have been listening. But if she was only trying to be with Billy, they would be talking about her the way they talk about Lori. Yeah. Lori listens to her daddy. They talk about Lori bad. So then now now she's the villain. Right, she's a villain because she would because she chose the broke nigga, but she'd be a villain if she only wanted to be with the rich niggas. Y'all just always putting on what niggas' faults are on the woman. That's how I feel. I'm like, son, she's Very true. yeah, but Lori also not out here getting fucking embarrassed. Excuse me, <laughs> Lori not out here getting embarrassed. <laughs> so clearly. I see that's what happens when you're not deep and deep enough in niggas business like I am oh, okay because <laughs> that is not Who true is Lori was before Lori had was you know was was having her you know the different she was engaged to one of them and when it was the fallout when it and when she just up and left him and she was with Diddy and Diddy's son. Yes. And, I forgot about that. and like Future and that the same so and like crazy. Future and Trey songs it was yeah. like oh look oh, girl and like, Future is like something yeah. Yeah. That's how I'm pretty yeah. sure that's how we if got how we got the iconic of, yeah. the future. I'm pretty sure how, is, that's how we got it. It's the evil world we live in. And like the evil world we live in. Yeah, girl. Yeah. yeah. And, and like the last oh, before the streets, all that was about Lori. Niggas, so. that's what you need to understand. Niggas are embarrassing street. everybody. There is no everybody. woman that is above a man's conduct. It does not matter who you are. Yes, a man will raggy you. You are not. There's nothing you could invoke. There's no school of thought. There's no book you could read. There's no pussy you could put on him. There's no Jesus you could talk to. A man will embarrass all of we. <laughs> Every single time. And that's they don't true. even, they got one pair of pants and be out here embarrassing oh, yeah? you. Right? <laughs> right? And that would be pissing me off. Right? Because right? I think listen, that's awesome. They will do this. Jada. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Jada. No, I was saying that to your point earlier, like, people will try to focus on what Kiki got with this man and, and like, try to, like, you know, villainize her just because that's a woman when the focus really should be on, that's the problem. His views are the problem. Granted, you are the person that you're a reflection with, but I, it's some niggas that I, please do not ever say that I'm a reflection <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I think also, I think also we get in the, like, trap, like, I've gotten in the trap before where you're thinking, like, first of all, black women are used to being mules. Yeah. And we're yes. used to having to like ra- like it's so normalized to like ra- help raise your man. Yes. And we yes. get trapped mm. in this like, well, this could be his views, but maybe I can help change him. Mm. Yeah, or maybe exactly. I can educate him. Or maybe I can I've gotten trapped into that. I've gotten that trap. Where it's like, well, you know, I can't do nothing for you. I can't do nothing for you. I can't Well now you. no. Once you realize <laughs> my, it's like me nah, and my girl, I can't let do me tell you. For you. Me 
me and my last my last ex boyfriend, we broke we broke up last year. Up until some odd months ago, we broke up. Now we reading, but we had be in some kind of self imposed <laughs> book club, reading fucking books every week, hoping mm-hmm. that I could fucking deprogram this nigga from mm-hmm. being from being the gallus that he wants to be. No, okay, yes, we've all been. That's definitely real mm-hmm. life. Like let's not act like as black women, we are literally raised if to believe, oh, love the black man, stand by our black man, take care of him, this is the next thing, teach this of what the world has been. Let me teach you, let me teach you. And I'm not, and as as a visual, very much as a whole career, it's like, let me run my mouth in hopes that maybe you'll hear something and think something different. I would not sit up here and act like I've never tried to like re, like re, oh, I could get you together. Like, let's, so let's I just try. can't be on Kiki. I cannot assume that Kiki Palmer is in the house like, mums the word at all the foolishness he's saying she probably there arguing with this man like everybody be like, arguing with in, in, yes in relationships this is what people, people think pieces is killing me because some people are out here <laughs> fighting with their men in that particular moment and then online like kiki need to leave but you are right <laughs> you need to leave sis but no seriously <laughs> you need to <laughs> leave right in, in these relationships though like we gonna have these issues my thing is if kiki can handle it behind closed doors or whatever the case may be you know this is what what was going on in relationships this is what happened it's not perfect we're gonna argue Uh there's gonna be things that you can take that the next girl probably can't whatever my problem is it's him taking it to the internet and not understanding that this is kiki palmer you you literally know look at who you're dating the fact that you took to social media and really thought that was okay to that's why he did it her yeah. as a mother as as if a she was mom, a regular bitch why, he wasn't yeah. gonna do it that's he the, the, that's that's why the he gag he ain't said nothing but where's regular his ex regular girl stay putting this business out he ain't never addressed or acknowledged any of them fucking publicly on social media he did it because she is who she yeah. is he weaponized it. specifically mm-hmm. that was the reason and you know why and you know what it tells me i somebody i'm like i've definitely dated me a misogynist in my day the fact that he decided to go get other men tells me there's an objection. If she was down with the shit, you know what I mean? If she was playing yeah. the role in an agreement with it, we wouldn't fucking know about it. But know. clearly she wasn't, yep. she would not bow to the shit. So he said, fuck you, I'm gonna get millions yeah. of men to jump up on yeah, the bullshit. Look at how the internet agrees with me. The shade room agrees exactly. with me. Exactly. That's what he wanted. Fuck ass nigga. The shade, and that's it. A- I was saying, like, there's definitely, I feel like I definitely need a man who, you know, it's hard to find a nigga who's not, like, a full, like, a misogynist a little bit. But I definitely feel like I dated a man. It's just, like, once I've talked through it, it's just, like, you know, at, like, a couple years down the line, they're, like, okay, I guess you, and they, well, and if you date him, you can't, you can't be that because of a misogynist, because I don't know if that works. <laughs> so, it goes that thing. So, I feel like it's much even more than him being a, a little bit misogynist, because all men are misogynist. All men have yes. a little bit in there. Yeah. It's even the most emotionally intelligent, the most pro ho the most pro women it's a little mm. bit sneaks out like even my, my little brother like i feel like he is so like he's only 24 and like he's so i mean he's my little brother so he hasn't put up a lot of shit but i but even then like he'll say things i have to like walk it back and make him like understand he's like you know what you're right like but it's just because you know when you a man a black man is gonna come out a little bit but yeah. that's you getting niggas to dogpile her and try to really jump on her that's so much more i'm sorry that's literally like you have a deep-seated inner ego issue you don't like yourself you want like that's so much more than misogyny. Like that's some evil shit, which is yep. a real issue. Like, what the fuck? And in that Jada, this yeah. accent. Hold on, pause. Jada, this accent you have is so excellent. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I never I heard you it. talk. I was like, oh, I thought you was fine in the timeline. I heard it just now. Like, oh, I was like, oh, this <laughs> gimmick. Fine with a cute accent. I was like, oh, Jada's <laughs> accent, a little sexy. Okay, you <laughs> proceed. <laughs> Jada hit on something. No, but I want to take it to the next level because we, we all y'all on the call keep saying. You know, he, he had niggas dogpiling on her. And I want to link that to something that Olay said. Let me tell you something. It wasn't just niggas dogpiling on her. He he definitely oh, yeah. internalized misogyny, girl. Mm-hmm. Pick me. Yeah. I, you know these bitches are harbingers of misogyny. Now, you know that. I said it's a patriarchy. That's, yeah. his, most, this says a lot about how... Women hate women. Works, <laughs> a lot about how yes. all this works. Because when you... I mean, the fact that you can that you can even say something like that publicly and whatnot and have a bunch of women also dogpile on there says that a lot of women are not having those conversations that you're mentioning earlier. They're not at home talking to their men, hollering at their men about the worth of women. A lot of women are mm-hmm. mum is the word at home. A lot of women are not operating. Or they agree. Yeah. Or they yeah. believe it themselves. Yeah, they or they yeah. believe it themselves. Which is why, yeah. you know, 
a lot of people were saying, oh, well, you know, he just shouldn't have done, said that in, in public. He should have dealt with it in private. And I was like, no, I think his feelings aren't valid. Yes, yes, feelings. they're I invalid. Think really yes. not. They're very invalid. You're not getting the validation because they're so rooted in like you controlling <laughs> a woman. You're rooted in you being mad patriarchal. You're root- It's rooted in your toxic, insecure masculinity because this woman, 100%. you want to have a traditional life, but you're not with someone who's going to give you this traditional patriarchal life. Mm-hmm. Those feelings aren't valid. The reason that the reason he could go online and get millions of people, black men and black women, to agree with him is because people think these feelings are valid in private. And they're not. Like, yeah. they, they shouldn't have a space at all. But you knew you could find people online because we validate the shit all the time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah. And yeah, there was a lot of, and you know, listen, you know, it. it is never a surprise at this point that women are harbingers of misogyny. Like, I expect it every time. Like, we know it is that on social media. But it was also... Even, you know, because we know what it is, right? A lot of it is just, they internalize the same foolishness, right? The exact same patriarchy, the exact same gender role nonsense, the exact same misogyny as everybody else, right? They're like being a woman or not. But also there's a level of one, not knowing who the fuck they are and two, being jealous. Because there was one of those viral takes with someone being like, I'm just saying if it was, if it was my, I wouldn't be damn rubbing upon my man. Like, you're not fucking Kiki Palmer. And what I mean by that is this, what people don't understand is like, Kiki is a performer. When you're a persona, you're somebody, you are always in that. People do not expect Kiki Palmer to stand there like the regular bitch from whoever. No one gives a fuck what you do. So yes, you, maybe you don't rub, if for whatever, you don't want to rub up on our show, whatever the fuck, no one cares. You see, the reason why we care is because she's Kiki Palmer. We've seen the video, we would have seen the clip. The reason why he was responding to it is because we already seen it viral anyway because she's Kiki fucking Palmer. So there's a different expectation for a performer and what they do than you, Susie May, and whatever the fuck you and your nigga do. And I think that's that's also something I want in the conversation is like <laughs> people are always weighing in on what celebrities do or uh, public performers. Like you're not a performer. Like what you would do in yeah. your regular life. Like also, what don't you get? <laughs> you talking about somebody who date, like is Kiki Palmer even Usher's type? Usher is known to date women like 10, 15 older than him. Like what are you talking Usher about? Usher is Hello. a performer. True. And there was not, he does that every show also. It's just part of the gimmick. Like it's, I don't understand how you could even get mad when you know that's just what he does at his show. He sings to someone in the crowd and usually it's whatever famous woman is there is part of the show. Like he did a church up with her. It's not sexual. But like, I do think it, it like kind of ties to the issue people had with like Jonah Hill where they were like, well, why should we care about this? If it was my ex, I would never share these texts. And it's like, your ex is in Jonah Hill. Your ex is in a right. man who made a documentary about how he's so <laughs> mentally healthy and his therapist is the best therapist in the world. Like, that's not your right. life. Like, yeah, you don't need to let the world know. This is different exactly. circumstances. Exactly. <laughs> and also, could they stop lying? The cap. I'm con- Every fucking day, every regular person is on my timeline telling me all they fucking business. You know how many random people I follow? Right. Also ones. that part. Like, <laughs> right. and I wouldn't share the text yes y'all do i see screenshots of people's text messages all every day. fucking every day, day all up and down the timeline yeah. so now all of a sudden when she do it it's a fucking problem because you don't want to hear something something negative about a nigga you ain't even that big of a fan of especially right. all these black Basically. men who jump in with this bullshit you don't even fucking like jonah hill you don't give a fuck about jonah hill but every time every time a man is outed as a misogynist all the men rally oh, oh he's he's our yes. boy now he palmer's um um oh boy they did not know him at all but yet yeah, i'm in a chat with my brother whom I love, and all of them were like, "Yo, man, I feel so bad for my boy, my boy, my you know boy." What I'm like, understand? Your boy. Like, what? Now they're watching his TV show on Kiki's no, channel. No, no, like, right. what are you I doing, y'all? On oh, Kiki's and, channel. And, <laughs> on Kiki's and, channel. Right. and it lets me know exactly what I need to know. That's like, you guys are just picking and choosing. They said that she's a mom. Why she had that outfit on? I said no, but she was just twerking on his page. He, he was holding the camera, showing that ass, and said, "Look what this baby did." to my baby mama's body. But, Look but, how, you know, you were showing it yeah. off and now it's a problem when she's outside. And I feel like she's celebrating. Without you. It's just without crazy. Without but, you. It, it, but you know what's funny why that even that comment, even you a mom is is the most misogynistic statement ever and everybody echoing around it is proof of yes. that because it just says that you do not ever view women as autonomous beings. That we just transfer owners. Consent, everything is about what everybody else thinks and feels and some other external dynamic for whatever the fuck we do. And everything is, oh, as her boyfriend, as her husband as a this as a mother as a this all these different circumstances who who gives a fuck about any of fucking that so a woman all of a sudden so she has a child and and what 
Nobody's saying like, what are we talking about? Like, and, and for me, it's it's offensive to even have to process for even yeah. anybody to even be like, well, for us to even feel like we need to make the argument that oh, he was fine with it before, and look what she was wearing. That who cares? A, so that the inherent conversation have been the videos and the pictures that he himself took, as Rebecca pointed out, have been absolutely picked apart by men. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's disgusting. Men saying that because she struggles with cystic acne and whatnot, that she should be grateful. That what? They were bringing uh, acne yeah, she, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were like, because she has cystic acne, he thought that she was like a nerdy girl who would just like be a good wife. And then she like had a glow up. And it's like, this is Kiki Palmer, okay? Like, what the fuck? She was never insecure. Like Mark Chestnut or something. Right, right. right. He, 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 he is all right. right. Oh, he's, he's all okay. right. Yeah. I have yeah. signing niggas like, every day. Relax. He's cute. He likes they, He's they, cute. They, they, he's they, cute. They, but that's they, it. In real life. Yeah, Listen. they act like he was too cute for her. Like, stop. But you that's know, really... Hey, hey let's... let's it, we want but to talk... We up. must repeat it so people can understand. But that's the colorism. It's the misogyny and the colorism in and of it and of itself. The fact that Kiki Palmer and Kiki... Kiki motherfucking Palmer. And y'all think any broke-ass, light-skinned nigga should, like, she should be so honored to get him. Right. Like, she should be so fucking honored. Who is on board? Like, what are you talking about it. enough how broke this man is i cannot emphasize enough <laughs> <laughs> i don't was know was he college, like a college I mean, athlete I do. or something but i don't yeah you do look oh like you know he wasn't even that man the boy was like a he ain't had no nobody he wasn't He's, even a college athlete. Had nobody no, okay and okay. i don't want I, and listen i don't want to drag him to his brother is sharona jackson um, drove from Insecure Dro from and just right. somehow Dro should this, hold on, let me just say hold on, hold on, his brother said he drove from Insecure before y'all start dragging, I'm oh my god let me, before whatever I'm happens next I just want to say that Sharon, I don't know you. you yet, I don't know you I, know him. I don't want no smoke, I have no smoke I know him. We for follow you, each Jay. other. I hang out with him. I've been talking shit about his brother, brother on Twitter for days. I, I had it. no well, idea. Do you think he's fine? Yeah. I just want to know, just for the just for the timeline purposes. Ashley, Maybe you think he's he fine? <laughs> his Sarah? Yeah, not his, not his <laughs> brother. Wait, who his bro? <laughs> Wait, we, 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 what are we saying? We don't think Sharon is fine? I think his brother looked like one of the monsters in Space Jam, but I think he also is handsome. They are not, I not unattractive so... people. Okay, we he's all got, a very fine monster. Different taste. And he's really I tall. He's so very tall. Fine monster. I, I have like, had yeah, people say that. Christina, I'm with you, Me it. too. Me too, Jada. <laughs> me too. Christina, he's I, so I, so I hear you, baby. I heard you. But I'm lying. But I'm lying. Hold on. Me too, Jada. Me too. No, However, no, I'm not going to sit up here. I am not a... He's handsome me. Jay, I'm not going to shit. I'm not, I'm not going to act like he's I'm not going to like... Like he can't shoot yeah. at me. I'm not going to act yeah, like... I'm, I'm, I'm he's handsome. handsome. He can shoot. Yeah. Yeah. He can shoot. Yeah. I just... I can't... <laughs> I, so Sharonis, okay. whatever I've said about your brother don't have shit to do with you. Exactly. Yeah. You I need to, to, now I need to tweet yeah. that because like we but follow each other. Now I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry. Him. I've been making fun of your brother. No, like, but, 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 like, I said hi. I like my stepmom. I like. Like he's really nice. Like. I, I do think he's like, lunch. I would go to lunch. Yeah, yeah I do think he like he learned maybe a lot from the Dro character, and he like does the you know, ethical <laughs> non-monogamy <laughs> in real life. So that's a whole thing to but deal with. I think but. he meant like, like hold, hold on, hold on, y'all. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let okay, me, we got to get a baby. Okay. I was like, Lord, be it not beating the allegations, bunch of hens. Look, 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 wait a minute! Look, if you just passed by, I mean, I'm like yes. Kiki. You got the wrong brother. Actually, is how I'm feeling now. Actually, but, but uh, actually. you know, but the, I mean, to oh. be fair, he, to he be fair, he embarrassed the fire yes, out of yeah he during did. the pregnancy yeah. and stuff. He and got, was, the, yeah. he got Tasha like that there was from some oh, pregnancy. To be fair, to be fair, as somebody again who be in a who be all up in everybody, but I don't know why. If I knew my, I do know my laws like this. To be fair, because I've seen him. I remember this controversy unfolded and stuff because there'll be somebody in the comments and he'll come with the, the actual, like, we misrepresented. He yeah. was fucking ma multiple bitches. Uh, yeah. Multiple women. I'm sorry. Let me stop being, uh, like, a rapper. Uh, multiple, he was he was sleeping with multiple women and and he got uh, Dominique uh, Dominique from who played Tasha and her pretty self. I love her. I follow her. She is, act I love her. She's so talented. I want her to win. I love her. Okay. So he impregnated her. He was also messing with Amazed by K. Amazed by K, which is, her name is Kayla. She's a model. She used to be on MTV's Are You the One for like a season. And I think she just jumped out. She jumped out the window and her feelings airing him out on social media. But I remember her promptly 
having a walk back because it wasn't he didn't yeah. actually do nothing like you knew i was just fucking was, these, these women exactly exactly he wasn't actually a criminal he just was a regular yeah. he but he hurt. also is one I of those guys him. who's very yeah. open about the fact that he is ethically non-monogamous yeah, he looks like, like he's he probably like yeah like he's not looking for monogamy oh, like, he makes that very exactly. clear, so. i agree with actually because so let me take my dragon of him back because the girls will eat that up and they'll be like okay i'm cool with that and then they'll they think that oh if i still fuck this nigga wrong and shit who just want to be with me yep. but he won't and he told you that he told so me. you I, I take that back bro i take what i said but wait a minute wait a minute you've Slept with some well, let me not say you. Um oh, girl, in my experience in my life. <laughs> in my experience of my life, it be guys out here who's doing the most, then will come to your house and try to whisper in your ear. And my you know, at the time, my okay. stupid behind will be like, see, it might be me for real. So you're gonna come over no, tomorrow again. No, and, but I and see. Then, but but here <laughs> here it is. She probably learned from that moment, and that's why she walked yeah. it back. It probably was yeah. a very painful moment for her to become a mother yeah. and all of that in that moment. It was. Oh, I, I was it. following. It wasn't like, Dominique like, Carrado. It was yeah, right. No, it was the other yeah. one. Dominique, Dominique hasn't never, said anything about him. Never once. Dominique no, was no, never no, in on no, that. Yeah. I think they've only even posted like one picture. Look how CS story start. No, Rebecca. Dominique was pregnant. Yes. Dominique was pregnant and he was also sleeping with Kayla, amazed by Kay on IG. Um, he was sleeping with Kayla and Kayla got upset and Kayla jumped out on social media telling everybody, you know, he do her wrong, but she had to walk it back because no, though. Yeah, because everyone okay. was like, you knew he was seeing these other girls. Yikes. Like, you were not in a, you know, monogamous yeah. And I like her. I follow her too. She's also, she's also very, like, she she tends to be very, like, accountable and whatnot. I, how, we, how we got here? Oh, oh it Anyways, was because I wanted to make sure that Dro didn't think I don't yes. just... Dro, it's not he's like handsome, we're handsome, with you, baby. We all agree. We all agree he's handsome in that. Well, I think he's a very so. handsome man. I do. I want to say that. I no, 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 girl, girl, fuck you. Don't call him my monster. Get out of here. <laughs> no, hey, don't do you. He's so you do tall. you. You did so you. Tall. Like, <laughs> no, Serena's. I subscribe to Dixie. Okay, so I know about you. Don't worry. So I'm out here. I'm not. Oh, oh, his Dipsy. Yes. Oh my God, he is so sexy. Is like don't worry. I'm, I'm not fake like the. Oh, it's, it's like horny stories like it's him reading Dipsy? just like really horny stories and it's like it's his voice it's his, his voice. voice yeah it's just his, his voice. voice yeah his voice he's so light-skinned he's so light-skinned oh he's my so, fucking yeah. god <laughs> that is some of them. it really <laughs> is some like light skin and i grabbed her and i put and it's like I, was, my type. I don't know it don't do it for me but he yeah. is so funny. Oh but my god. <laughs> I I'm listen. Sorry. I like. Oh, this. I just want. I, Look how we he's one of those. This. The way he is is it's like this, right? It's like he's not like. You could see where, okay, Gabby's monster comment. Like, if he's one of those niggas, if you want to hate him, like, if you want to call him ugly, you could get it off. He's not. But you know, <laughs> but you could get it off. But you know. You know you you know he probably no could I know you. if I if there you was know, right, yeah, yeah, does keep it real you know, okay I've, like, been I'm to, not, I'm, I've been to multiple parties he's been at where I've been like you want to pull me what's up what's up baby <laughs> what's up how's it going <laughs> y'all he is where do I live at because like you sure pay me so I'm in LA so Jada wants the invite oh let me I'm gonna move to LA and give me a five yeah because he just be hanging out and I'm just like I'm joking like you gotta joke with me I'm from the south all we do is rip on each other you gotta joke with me if you wanna fuck around with me so I be joking so really know I'm joking I'm joking. It's okay. Yeah, oh yeah. no 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 no! You see how gals go, but you see. <laughs> hold on, but you see why, sir? Just pick pick the women who really be on your your winning team, okay? Because only me jumped out. <laughs> only me jumped out to keep him. Now all of a sudden, I thought I made the game. Now all the bitches want him too. Fuck oh, these bitches in there. They are not gonna right. stick beside you. Okay, I, I was so like, I'm so sorry, baby. Tonight. I'm so sorry I insulted my future brother-in-law. Like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, call me and I do you like and, and, and to use use Kiki Palmer's tactic on him? Hey, you do want to drink? Um, I saw you. Oh I saw my you god! I'm about to do this. <laughs> okay, next time I go to the Harlem <laughs> premiere, I'm he's there. I'm not monogamous too. Yeah, I'm, not I am. Too. I'm okay with it, baby. I paid a few too. I got a roster. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm crying. Sure look, how, look how y'all go. We don't forget. I have to go. I have to go to my other thing, so I'm gonna dip out. But this was so fun. Bye, Ashley. I'm gonna do it again. Bye. 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 This was fun. We you have to, uh, family so, thing? the family, he, like, I don't think yeah. he, when he was, when the, everybody was dragging his brother, he was like, I, he would be, he seemed like, you know, but that's a little brother. He might really just be a little brat. 
And he seemed like he'd been on the internet and famous long enough to know that we'll fucking take him the fuck out if yeah. he jump in trying to defend his brother. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, like, my brother mm-hmm. well no, I'm like it depends on what he say. But I see my brother said like I'd be like he wrong. Oh, so maybe I'm not jumping into that kind of lashing. <laughs> like in the yeah, sense I'm- because <laughs> Because his brother, though, there's no reason for him to because there's no stakes, yeah. right? Like, there are no stakes. He's not going to lose. The brother isn't anybody. He's not losing no job, no yeah, deals, no. That's true. Nothing is, nothing is going to happen. All that's going to happen is the internet who don't know him is going to crack jokes. Like, you've been the, everybody's been, if you're you're famous or a public figure, you've been the main topic before and been dragged. So it's like, you know, Sharonis has been it before. So I think he just knows, let me sit this one out. He's going to be out. Matter of fact, I'm irritated. I'm irritated. I'm in it because of you. Like, exactly. Yeah. Fucking drag now they say, now they you. Now I'm in an interview. They saying, "Did you hear about your brother?" For? Yeah. Now they literally. Now they just said, "I made shit." I mean, now I, I get shit. in it. Okay. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> What the fuck did you do, bro? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, no, they wouldn't pull up. The and I'm telling mama. Were they? they wouldn't pull up the donut, were they? Or were they just trying to drag him into it? Because I. They, they just dragging him into it. They just said that he wasn't shit because of the little baby mama thing. But I think that y'all just clarified that that's not fair. So I, I got I to gotta go to these tweets because I had said Joe wasn't shit. And he said. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that uh, was they, the were, they were story, saying though. shit like, get your brother, get your brother. I'm going to call mama. If it, if my sibling has me dragged, I'm going to call my mom. Yeah. No, I think he was an interview. I think he did a recent interview and um, either was Baller Alert or was it. It was. Shade room, one of the two, and he was on um the carpet. Um, and he they were asking him, they were like, So, you know, you're you're a former um whatever of insecure. They'd say something like that, and then they were like, But your brother, you know, <laughs> brother doesn't know how to and he was like, you know, that's my brother. I mean, I love him and he, you know, da, da, da. like he kind of just moved past it. I like that he skated past it because it's my mm-hmm. brother. I'm not gonna be on this microphone talking crazy about my brother, and I'm also not gonna bring up the situation to give you my true opinion about it either. I, you know, we're we're moving past this. So I like that. Look, he Media might training. Be a little bit more cuter after that. I don't really know him now. I don't really know. <laughs> look at look at look at y'all go. Okay, so we got to do Jonah because all right, what made me With white man. Let me tell you what made me message all y'all all, all last night. Me and Rebecca were on our show. <laughs> we were on our show left this mafia. And the Jonah, it came up. And Rebecca was like, I didn't think that was abuse. Ain't nothing about that. Seemed wrong to me. Told her what's, what's up, his boundaries. And she could go or she wouldn't go. And I'm like, that is not so, boundaries. Yeah. So what I said was <laughs> what I said. let me tell you uh-uh. so that's that outrage it just wasn't for me i looked at it and i'm not gonna hold you i am not gonna hold you i'm not gonna stop you i'm gonna keep you going on your way it just <laughs> did it when i read the text message i'm not saying that her and i don't want to take away from her experience but when i read it it was just like girl i thought this is gonna i thought it was gonna be more because of the think pieces that i read on twitter so i said let me go through and i mind you I ain't even gonna hold you again. I got my information from the shade room, which probably gave me half of the story. Exactly. So cool, all no, uh, got 16. Was three text messages or whatever. And they it's almost like, you know, of course they want it to look as if it's just minimal. Now, when Ashley was here, this was the, what the um, um our, our co-host yesterday on Leftist Mafia were trying to explain to me. See, I don't know. I ain't in white folks' business too much. There's a baby. And I'm like, what baby? Whose baby? Why is there a baby? What's going on? And so Ashley explaining that that's what it may have stemmed from where she was like, let me get it off because, oh, you want to post you with this baby? Let me really have this conversation or whatever the case may be. Now, this doesn't take away from the fact that old girl felt what she felt. It's just, it would, it, I, I hope I, I wasn't agree. Let me say why. <laughs> <laughs> Wholeheartedly, she means that. She's <laughs> because number one, that is how abuse fucking starts. First of all, in, in, in any conversation about the Jonah Hill situation, you have to start with one, the definition of the fucking word boundaries. I feel like there's, we've lost track that words actually mean things on the internet because so many people try to try to ascribe different things to them. Rebecca and Olay and I have actually had a conversation about a personal boundary of mine. I have been, and I'm very open about this on Twitter. I've been abstinent for about six and a half years. I I do not want to have sex with someone that I look at Jada face pause. Look at Jada. 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 I'm about to have point that out. I literally about to have sex with someone. I was waiting to hear months too. I 
I literally, I'm going to have my editor put when after Jada's face, I'm going to have him put where the, the, the conversation, we have an episode that I haven't put out where she tells me and Rebecca this. And if you saw us be like, I'm I'm like I don't. Let me tell y'all though. So I say, and I'm very open about this. Olay can tell you because she's been following me forever. I'm very open about I've so I've been celibate I sh- or really I should say abstinent for. Oh, you still on this? I saw that. I saw that. Six said, and a half. Mm, I saw sorry, that. Sis, I, oh, dead ass. Sis, still? still to this day, six and a half years. And how long has it been? You said four. Six and a half. Six and a half. That's why. That's why you think. <laughs> So my thing is, I do not want to have sex with someone that I am not in a committed relationship with. That's just my personal boundary. That is, because that's what a boundary is. When you have a boundary, that is something that you place upon yourself, yourself. And and if someone is not willing to meet you where you are with that boundary, then you get the fuck off. Mm -hmm. If you're not willing to meet me at that boundary, then I get my, I pick up my purse and I get the fuck on. Because that's what a boundary is. It is not a means of an ultimate not the man it is not a means of of negotiation or manipulation it is a personal boundary i've placed upon myself that is what a boundary is that is not what jonah hill was doing jonah hill had no intention especially when he was talking about oh well if you're gonna be out here a doing your fucking job as a surfer she's a surfer she i don't know i don't know if he expected her to be wearing a fucking burka or 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 a patagonia sweatshirt no. The first thing he ever sent her on Instagram, how he, they started talking, was him sending her a picture of her surfing in her bikini. Her bikini but no, it's a DM. Yeah, it's so like out there now. Now I need you in a dicky suit and some fucking ones out there now. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But y'all, y'all, y'all don't believe it. I be having to deal with that, and that's why I really had to learn. Like some niggas, well, he white, but I don't know. Um, but some men like the idea of you because niggas, which I'm like. Nigga, when you met me, I had my titties out. You my knew what it was. And that's what it you is. Wanted, so you want so you fuck with me, and now you want to tell me. But I that's why. That's why. That's, that's, like that's the specific. Like, but that's the specific thing. What I was saying, I think I was saying last night is like men can be with the the. There are of course there are women who oh want. God. They don't what they want. Their masculinity. What they are looking for is the ability to get a woman who is not that thing and break her down, make her smaller and control yeah. her because it's the control that makes them feel masculine. They don't need a woman that wants to get down and it's her choice and she's happy to do it and she right there and lock and step with them that wouldn't be control that would be a partnership that would be agreement that would be finding a like-minded person no 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 to dominate is to get somebody to bow down and kowtow to a rule a system that they otherwise wouldn't impose on themselves like that is not a means of control Rebecca in that is because because I remember you commented that you felt like okay well if you didn't like this you kind of she could have probably just you know went on her way what do we socialize women to do from a very, very young age? We tell girls via religion, via the law, via television, via mm-hmm. marketing, we tell them that your life is not worth or is not complete until you find a man that's, that is that will actualize your existence. You are not he yes. is a person until a man says so. And so it is from yeah. that point forward for the rest of your life, you will be seeking that absolution from a man. So it is no wonder that she she kept trying to acquiesce to these things because we are socialized that way as women from the time we can fucking walk. Facts. Um, okay. Absolutely. So um, agreed with all of it, right? So what I'm saying <laughs> is at the same time, wh- while she was exposing these messages, I guess what I was reading, and again, what I read was just a few of them. I'm not sure because I did not go and try to divulge into this inf- more of this information. I didn't really, and I'm honestly just going to be like, it just wasn't something for it me just, to go and you and just, it, it just wasn't, it just wasn't that interesting. Like it no, just wasn't, no, it's just white people tea that just didn't bring it out of I you. I felt like, you know, this is something that I, I guess I've been through and it's like, I know, and that's, that's why I say I don't want to say um, that her feelings are not valid because I understand that. But if, if I feel like if, and even if it, it was a form of control, how he was literally telling her he didn't want, he, listen, I don't, I don't want this anymore. Um, this is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to go find it because you aren't that for me. Yet when he did meet her, um, she was all of this, all, all this, 
everything that he literally said he doesn't want now, she's that thing. But all of a sudden, he, she can't be that anymore. But he was telling her, I'm like, the, these, these are my rules or whatever the case may be, or this is what, what I want for myself, and this is what I see my future looking like. And if it's not going to, it's not going to work with you. So but if that was what he said, but that's the thing is that, that isn't what he did. That isn't what happened. He yeah. didn't tell that woman, oh, this is what I'm interested in, whatever, and I could go. No, no, no. He, they're already in a whole relationship, and it's now, I hear a million things that I want to control. You can't do whatever, and I'm just going to keep trying to muscle and make you and massage you into everything. He was not trying to just leave her, let her go peacefully, mm -hmm. and it's not, right? I want to be clear. It's like, people... It is a very like blatant, it's like blatant, blatant to me in this case, this level of like um, misogyny and control it because it's not a couple of little things. It's not even just like the general misogyny we're all used to maybe where men try to, to say something about your outfit or something, something. He's like, don't talk to no men at all. It's literally mm. a man literally Crazy. being like, I mm. am insecure. I have a problem, me, but my insecurity is, yeah. he won't acknowledge his insecurity. It's you need to make the world take shape to make my insecurity comfortable, right? He's like, you can't speak to no men. You can't do your job. You can't have this picture. You yeah. can't, that's not a normal thing. Like literally that's yeah. not a regular thing. Like that's not a boundary. That's not a normal thing in any capacity to tell any woman on earth, you can't speak to men no more. You can't do your job. No, that so, makes me insecure. What's so you fucked up. Crazy as hell. What was so <laughs> fucked up is he weaponized therapy and soft language in order to do okay. it like he used yes. the words like my boundaries Definitely. and my yes. feelings and if you can't you don't fucking respect me and then you're like you're literally telling me what to do like rules shouldn't exist no the, you, if you're coming in to like collaborate with somebody you don't tell somebody what to do and then it's like he also was making her take posts down it, it didn't yes. just stop at like what he was telling her she needs to do she was take, make, he was making her take posts down he was berating her so in the same breath that you're like, oh, you need to do this, this, and that, it's, you don't fucking care about me. You don't, you want to be a fucking victim. So it's like, there's so many different layers of at least abusive tactics, right? I don't know. Yes. So, but if there's abusive tactics, I mean, you can't really say, I don't know if you can say that it's not an abusive relationship, but he was just using soft language to mat. Like, there's That's no difference like between, you. you can't, <laughs> look, I mean, there's no difference between like, bitch, you can't talk to this nigga versus oh, no, I need you to not talk to this man because I'm insecure. It's the same thing, because but just, like, in pre package. I yeah, have been screaming exactly. about that being the same way that we're seeing. I, I see my niggas need to stay out of therapy. Just, just be, just be fucked up. <laughs> no, just yeah, why you say just be fucked up? up. Don't we're manipulate me. They're easy to navigate. Not yeah. even to make me mad. <laughs> Don't do that. Just stay unemotionally intelligent and be fucked up. I, that's but, worse. Because I truly like, think... The, the problem is, it's like, you know, when we talk about, like, when we be like, oh, we can't, we can't, you know, want to get rid of racism and also not talk about wanting to get rid of capitalism because these things work together, right? They compound. Mm -hmm. And I think it's similarly as like women in recent years, like, I think women all realize globally the, the push to constantly are, are push to tell men to go to therapy is the recognition that something is wrong, but it's really misogyny and patriarchy. We just haven't gotten there because the problem is, is if we're not addressing that root problem, the root issue, what we're really experiencing, why men are this, the lack of emotional intelligence, why don't talk, why don't all these different things are not because they are just innately devoid of the mechanics that we have. It's because they are being educated and socialized in a patriarchy that is literally teaching them to be this way and that is the right way to be. So if you never challenge that foundation and you send them with that foundation unchanged to therapy, they just use the tools to facilitate that misogyny. So we have to address the root. And I think that's what we're seeing here, right? Jonah Hill, as much as people love, because Jonah Hill, is, which is why she felt the need, I'm sure to say it, Jonah Hill is somebody who's come to us as this, oh, I am, I am not a conventionally attractive person. And I am, we like him. He's and they soft. He always tells about his insecurities. So we look at him because he does not scream he to us that? hyper masculine. That's the reason. No, that's what he is. <laughs> like, you say that. You ate. You ate. It's true. Oh, my God. It's true. He said that. Was like, she was saying it like he said it. I'm like, did he come out and say that and then had the nerve to come out? But it's and not even that. You <laughs> said, I'm a dusty, I'm a dusty ass nigga. I'm not going to be attractive. I'm sloppy. <laughs> I, like, I don't, I'm not no, really. What they did to me was, remember how Rob Kardashian came out and was she like said... calling Black China all this shit? Like, them be the ones. So it's like, they be unattractive and just mean. Like, and so, no, I, 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 so, so what I'm saying is, 
all of this, right? And and again, this is nothing that I really cared to go into. For me, my and in the with the information, and I'm still gonna go back on that. Like with the information <laughs> that I got at the time, it was just literally those three messages. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, it just niggas, wasn't given. It just didn't niggas spark text it like this every day. What is like like she's blasting it? Like I'm I like, okay, but that team. but that's the root of the problem. But that right there, that's what I said. Last, what I was saying last night. I but that's the root of the problem that we've seen worse. That's and the reason it's like, yeah, it just didn't like, alarm you because like, we've seen so much worse. Yeah. And that's the and, worst part about all of this. And, and, and is that we're all so used to like this. It shouldn't be normalized like this. And I don't even want to generalize all, all niggas, really. Not white niggas, black niggas, all of them. <laughs> I don't really want to generalize them in that way. But I, I'm saying, though, I agree with everything that you guys are saying. I didn't go far. I didn't, I didn't care to research because I felt like, girl, everybody, everybody is going through this. But in the same breath, though, is it so are how I looked at all these think pieces and things like that, the focus spreads. I Are we identifying what, in which I love how you guys are, you know, educating it where it's like, look, we should not be saying that this is okay. These are things that we need to identify instantly. Like there is abuse here. If there are signs, that means this is abuse and emotional abuse and how it can leak and become something else or whatever. He's in a new relationship. He has a baby. It, could it be that he's changed? Could it be that he got work? Could it be that the therapy that he did get is working in this instance? Or are we- Girl, no. Oh, he, should we see the merchandise he put out? After? Did you Maybe see the merch? Did you see the lawyer? Did you see the see merch? Him. You see the merch? He has Girl, merch. this nigga's he a dickhead. Out. He put out fucking merch mocking, mocking. He this don't give a fuck. He put you see, I'm all behind. I'm way back in the white people. I'm, 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 I'm not here. <laughs> somebody like him benefits. I love that Christina brought up like how he he has been doing this for a while in terms of like how he has kind of revamped his new image where he's yeah, after he lost weight and whatnot, he really kind of went onto this this public image of like, please don't comment on my body, which is very valid. That's fine because people were being really shitty to him when he was uh overweight, things of that nature. But but he benefits, all men benefit from a certain infantilization uh, overall, where women will definitely be like, oh, well, he just needs time and I mean, maybe he'll get better. And we, we just need to educate men, that kind of stuff. But he's benefiting from that even more so than the average man because he's famous and because he is constantly like, he's very open about his insecurity. So he's benefiting from that even more. But at the same time, where he is weaponizing the language of therapy, the language of self-help and the language of self-betterment is the same way white racists are able to now, especially as we see online, yeah. able to weaponize the language of the movement against black people in the movement for black people. Yeah, that's why they call me anti-white. Same. <laughs> uh -huh. If you're doing that, please get fucked. Like, what Girl, by the thousands, by the like, thousands. But don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't put like, it. <laughs> you should address those root causes like Olay was saying because because sexism capitalism imperialism are just three heads of the same snake you have to cut all of them off for the beast to die you have to so until you confront those base things and you're just out here in this in this instance the sexism the misogyny of all this until you confront those things it'll just continue to be oh he'll just all you have to do is as a man is just stick and move just stick and move figure out what's the hot new hot button issue the new therapy buzzword and whatnot and just keep sticking and moving that's all you got to do because nobody's confronting the real issue yeah that's facts that's facts i guess that's a bar i guess real rap bar is on yeah, that, on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes if nobody has any think, like, yeah christina i was gonna add like i don't think rebecca you're the only person that was like a little confused like i had some of my niggas like me like message me you niggas that you know go to therapy or do the work and they're like well i'm a little confused about why this isn't like i don't agree with what he said right but like if that he just said she can leave and i'm like there's a difference between like expressing your boundary in a way that's like oh this is something i i don't like so i'm gonna bounce versus you need to you can't tell nobody what the fuck they need to do who are you like if that right. whether or not i mean it's like a twofold issue telling someone what to do is a whole other thing and whether or not it's good to tell a woman that she can't talk to any man. She can't do this. It's a whole, that's a separate issue. That's very rooted in misogyny. But at the very least, you can't tell somebody else what, what to do or what they need to do for you to like be around them and they need to change themselves. No, if a boundary is your boundary, then you leave when something is uncomfortable. You enforce it for yourself. So I think it's like the weapon, which is why it's so fucking in cities. It's like those white people, like passive races. People say passive races are worse than like, 
aggressive race because I know how to navigate an aggressive races. You don't call yeah. me inward. I know how to navigate you, but the passive, like, oh, I'm just trying to understand and be, well, this is how I feel. You get yeah. in this, like, well, I don't know. He's going to therapy and uh, maybe I should listen to him. Well, these are all feelings are valid, which I was just about to say, Probably. it's the all feelings. They're not. And I think that's the most dangerous thing is like, right. nobody wants to interrogate, interrogate feelings. And I think that's why we have so many of the problems we have in societies. Everybody thinks because something is their gut reaction or their first instinct and other people have the same gut reaction that that makes it right. And they don't think that their gut reactions are informed by anything, any structure around them. Like, it's like, oh, well, I as a man also would feel a way about women. So that makes it right. Don't no, care. because are you don't aware? Care. What is the feeling? what is the thing why is that you know like something i always say like my friend cj always says to me he's like he's like he works on this a lot he's like always always trying to like unlearn uh um like patriarchy and hyper masculinity and misogyny because he says you know you'll have the feeling you'll thought and you'll say okay well where does that come from cj like why do i feel that way and what is the actual thing and interrogated there and that that step is what is like sorely lacking from all of this it's just everybody Missing. oh I feel it too. So that, so it's right. So it's okay. I, 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 oh, I'm, yep. I wouldn't want my girl talking to nobody. I wouldn't want my girl in that dress. So that makes my feeling valid. And thus the problem is on however she's responded to it because you are not taking into consideration my feeling never once considering that maybe your feeling is steeped in something harmful or wrong that should not be legitimized. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Well, thank you, my <laughs> wonderful ladies. <laughs> This was yes, great. This was so good. Always, yes. It was nice to meet all of you guys. Hold on, I'm sorry, guys. I, I checked out the the white man is on my neck. <laughs> what happened? Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. I am literally working on the side at the same time, and it's it's crazy. Like somebody got to keep the lights on around here because I don't. Girl, I, I, I don't want to go back to the strip club. <laughs> okay.